Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today, I think we're going to do a find your way around Katia video. So, I'm going to go ahead and close this product that I've got. This uh, may be what your Katia screen looks like when you open it. Um, if you check under the start button here, you may notice you've got uh, some of these, all of these, none of these. You may have uh, more than I've got. Uh, these are your different workbenches. Um, the vast majority of what I do is going to be in part design, as in the design sketcher. Um, there are lots of stuff here that uh, I have no clue how to use. <laughs> you, know, uh, you can do a little bit of shape design if you like uh, more organic shapes um, instead of the the cut and dry 3D, you know, cube. Um, so, if you want to open a new dialog box, you've got lots of options here. Depending on what licenses you've got installed, this list is going to change. Um, the vast majority is going to start with a part, uh, which you probably already know. Uh, a product is a assembly. It's a group of parts. Um, you can also do a new drawing, which is a blueprint. You do that of a part or of an assembly, which is a product. So let's open up a part. You get this dialog box. You can name your part. Uh, we'll just start there. You can do create a geometrical set if you like. That's that's a little more advanced. Um, once you're here, you notice you've got uh, all of these toolbars. You got more toolbars than that. If you there it is, go under view and toolbars. You see you can turn on a lot of different things. Um, the things that you use most often. So sketch or a pad or a shaft or um, within a sketch you may use this button a lot which is a constraint um, or go in a, a circle or a rectangle or there are different variations on a rectangle, a centered rectangle, or oriented rectangle. Any any command that you use frequently you may want to set a short, shortcut key for. To do that go to tools and customize. The best way to get there that I found is to go to commands, all commands, and then find it. These are in alphabetical order. Uh, so if we want to do a circle, let's, do, let's look at a circle. So click the button. It'll show up in this little box here and do show properties. This accelerator is what your shortcut key is. I like to do control shift keys myself so if you want to do control shift C to draw a circle that's all you have to do and hit close. I've already got C constrained somewhere else so it doesn't work. But uh, So how about um, round because I don't know what else to make it. So now if we want to make a circle, we'll do control shift R. And there you go, just like that. Um, and because I've got a constraint tied to another shortcut key, um, I've got it control shift D for dimension. You can set it up however you like. Uh, you also got under some options uh, a pretty significant menu here. If if you can't see this menu for whatever reason, if it zoomed in or zoomed out too far, hold down the control button and uh, scroll, and it will shrink and get bigger. Get it where you can read it. Under display, uh, where I'm actually at is my background. So you can turn off graduated color, it makes it fade really nicely. Um, you got plenty of 
default options, you can make it a custom option. Um, there are a couple of tweaks that I like, uh, which is on your visualization, I think. Uh, no, maybe under performance. Yeah. And so your 2D accuracy and your 3D accuracy uh, when you're drawing a circle. If your computer is powerful, I recommend you drag these all the way to the bottom. That makes your circle not look choppy. Um, and so these things, you can uh, stick them where you like while they're moving. I've got it dropped down pretty low. Um, we don't need to, but that's just the way it is. Uh, a static, I like to have a pretty high level of detail here. I've got a, a decent computer, so I don't have an issue. Um, your transparency quality, you can make uh, solids semi-transparent. How that looks is determined um, by this right here. Uh, you've got the ability to change your, your lighting, you've got uh, picking size so when you're trying to, to snap to a center line or something, um, you can change all that. You've got the ability to go in and change uh, line colors and all kinds of fun things. Here you go, line types. Lots of fun options. Uh, those are probably the the most used settings. Uh, how to make shortcut keys, how to change this so you can see it a little better. The the trick that I showed you in the in the options menu will also work with this part tree here. Um, hold the control button and uh, move your scroll wheel. Um, I think that'll be about it for today. It's a, a pretty simple video. Um, until next time, happy modeling.